Stefan Jerkel. I'm the director of the Center for the Study of African Economies here at the University of Oxford. So I've been a researcher for the last 30 years, but I've always thought it was very important as researchers that we try to engage with those people and the policymakers uh, in the countries that we work in. So even though I've spent most of my career as a researcher, um, at some point I really wanted to make sure I could have much more impact on the policy environment. And I took the chance to go on secondment to the Department for International Development, which is the UK aid agency, uh, where I then worked for um, about six, seven years as their chief economist. I was intended to go there for, uh, for three years, but I think what I really learned is that organizations like that can, on the one hand, they can do with an academic who brings a different experience to practitioners in terms of knowledge but also access to knowledge that they usually miss and at the same time I could benefit enormously and get my insights and res um, research sharpened simply from working much more closely with people who work on the ground. I've now been back at Oxford as a researcher for a few years and I brought with me not just experience of working in a policy environment but also you know definitely an address book of contacts of people who can make a difference in these countries as well as an experience in terms of how to work with decision makers and so on so I spent a lot of the, my time these days not just to get my own research to have more impact but also help others at the center and elsewhere to make sure their research can be more impactful and make a difference on the ground. So for example, we have a whole series of research projects at the center in Ethiopia. We study in industrial parks, we study labor markets, we study issues to do with rural development. And what I've been doing is to make sure that I stay closely in touch with some of the key decision makers in Ethiopia, in the government and in the civil service, as well as in the international organizations that are very important there. And we keep on feeding them both the understanding that we gain from our research, but also helping even them to make sure that then that knowledge and evidence makes a difference for people on the ground. So it means a lot of conversations, a lot of phone calls, talking to journalists and also traveling there to, to go and have meetings at a very high level and just listen to what the concerns are of the policymakers and then thinking very carefully what bits of our research are most relevant to them. And similarly, just keeping abreast of other knowledge that is emerging from other countries and then helping key policymakers to actually use the knowledge better than they usually can do. I think there's a real responsibility for academics to do this so much more carefully. We often think our own paper is the only thing that matters, and surely that's not the case. We are in a unique position to articulate and communicate not just our own understanding, but actually the broad understanding of the research community, and in our case of a center and similar uh, organizations across the world to actually make sure it all makes a difference.